you guys know, I had a video for uh, the Nexus 4 heating problem solution. And this is the Nexus 5 solution. And um, I did already about a couple hours ago. So I'm going to show you on the how to do it on the Nexus 5. So all what you have to do is just open the back. Take all the screws off. And there's videos on the website how to open the Nexus 5. I mean, on YouTube. So just take the screws off. I did this with the Nexus 4 before and it worked perfect. So I decided to do it on the 5 since I've been having issues with it lately in the summer. Overheating when I play games or doing anything intensive. So just open the back, take all the screws off, okay? Then take the plastic cover off. Then disconnect the battery. Disconnect the display and the bottom part. Gentle with this one because it's thick. Make sure you get all the angles. There you go. Now disconnect the camera. Disconnect the front camera. And here you go. Oh, don't forget to, to take the antennas off. Anything connected to the motherboard on a different separate part, just take it off right there. Okay, we're good. Now you take the chip off. Just look for a good spot right there. So I did this a couple hours ago and I didn't do the review. I just wanted to test it. And here we go. This is after I did it. Let's take a look. right there I put that metal plate right there same as the old review this is a um, thermal paste from the computer I cut it I mean uh, I put on there there's a metal piece that I got from a heat sink computer heat sink I just took one piece and I cut it with a scissor and there's more paste right there if you guys can see and I just put it in there put some on Put some on the chip on the processor and put the metal piece on or you can do it right here put put um thermal paste right here put some on here and then put the metal chip the aluminum chip on here and then put the processor chip on top of it looks like i didn't put too much in here i think let me put a little bit more Should be good. Don't put too much because it's gonna get messy. So just put that much. No, oh, other side. Make sure you don't touch the thermal paste. Make sure it fits perfect and then drop it. Alright, right there. As you guys can see, it was inside when I opened it, and there's no problems with placing the chip back on. So it fits perfect. Now put the front camera on, back camera. Uh, put the antennas back on. Last thing you want to put is the battery. Antenna. Be gentle with the antennas. They're really sensitive. Right there. Put the flux cable. Be gentle with all of them. <clears throat> Everything in place. Connect the battery. Right there. Watch. So, no shaking, nothing. It's still in place. Get the power button. Right there. Just let you know it won't vibrate because the vibration motor is right there. Okay. Just so you won't freak out. Hmm. <sighs> 
I still got that cover right here. As you can see, the SIM card is out, so there's no reception, nothing. Okay, but we're going to check the temperature right there. 49 Celsius, that's a boot temperature. I used to get about, um, I think about 65 or 70 on boot. But then if you give it a couple seconds, it will go down. As you can see, 43, 42. You guys can see that? And it gets even better after you put the cover on and screw everything on. So let's finish it up. Turn off the phone. All right, now let's put the back cover on. Just make sure the cameras are connected because you might have issues later on. You have to open it again. All right. Put this on. Give it a little bit of press. Don't be too rough, I mean, so you won't break the screws out of their place. Be gentle toward the end. You don't want to break the frame. Alright. Two more to go. And I'll fire it for you guys so you guys can see. So right now, where where I'm taking this video at, my environment temperature is about 89 Fahrenheit. That's the temperature right here, the weather. So it's really hot. Alright, last screw. Put the cover on, the SIM card, then I'll show you guys. I'm impressed. The chip on this thing is really, really small. Way smaller than the Nexus 4. Alright. Everything in place. Put this on. Put the back first. Okay. All right. SIM card. I'll turn it on. I'm gonna clean up the screen. It looks messy. I'm running Pure Your Own right now. And this is a custom animation. It's not Android L. Just let you know, guys. So there you go. Got reception. No issues. Right there. 57. What was it last time? I can't remember. Alright, it's booting. 50. It's dropping fast. Usually by now it would be 60, 62. It's going to drop down now. Watch. Oh, there you go. It was down, just the app not loading. 45. Alright, let's see. Thirty-one, right there. Forty-two. It's not going up. Everything is working fine. See the Wi-Fi? I know it's gonna connect anyway. But there you go. Just to show you guys, everything is working. The antenna is in place. Everything. Right there. There we go. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace out.